Hey guys, in today's video, we'll see the process of creating another product design. Remember, there are playlists to all the models created is in the card above. If you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Leave your like and comment here what I would like to see in the next videos. So, let's go to class. Let's start by creating a plan to add our heifer. The download link is in the video description. We apply the reference to the plane and start modeling with the circle. We adjust the reference so that it matches the skin. Now we position the circle and decrease the interpolation to 2. We cover it to editable poly. Add a line in the middle of the circle and then apply a chamfer to create a separate in the middle of the piece. We'll select the top part and position it according to the reference. We increase the scale a little on the Y axis. Position it so that it matches to the reference. We connect these points with the edge connect and add a new loop in the center of the piece. We increase the scale on the x-axis and insert a new loop on the top part to create a slice curvature. Now with the edge mode, we will extrude backward and position the vertices. We extrude only this part again and adjust the mesh. Let's extrude the top part and add a loop to this part. Adjust the vertices and extrude again to join the parts. We weld the points with the vertices weld. Let's extrude this bottom part again. Adjust the vertices and extrude the top part, joining the entire mesh. Let's use symmetry on the x-axis. Now with the bridge, let's close this opening at the back. Add a new loop and close it with the target weld. Let's use the set flow to create the curvature of this edge. Just select the edge and use the command out tool. It will adjust the edge following the flow of the mesh. Let's do the same with these vertices. This way, we create a perfect curvature. Return to the top part and adjust this part so that it matches the reference. Again, let's use symmetry on the x-axis. Now, let's extrude the Zs and adjust the mesh. Mm -hmm. 
Let's close this hole with the bridge. Once that is done, let's adjust this loop. And extrude this face to create this detail in the piece. I'm going to use the loop regularizer to transform the face into a circle, as is the shape of the reference. We reduce the scale and adjust these vertices at the base. We will add a support loop on the front edge and we will apply the chamfer twice, keeping the edge hard. Add some loops and open subdivision modifier to visualize the piece. Let's return to the mesh and adjust some vertices in this part. As you can see, the upper part has a problem. Let's adjust it. Let's select this face and align them with the center of the model. The same with the vertices. Finally, we apply a symmetry. Here, we see that the model can be closed to the reference. To do this, we will return it to editable poly and enable the show and result. Let's open the freeform panel and use the shift tool. It works like brush to adjust the mesh. This way we can better match the model with the reference. Once this is done, we will reduce the open subdivide to 1 and add a digit poly to separate the model into parts. First, we will select the front part. Then we apply the attach. As you can see, there is a curvature in this part of the piece. Let's do this. Let's adjust the vertices and then remove some ads. Let's align this lower part I'm going to apply a chamfer to this vertices To connect the points, I'm going to use the vertex connect In the upper part, I'm going to insert a new loop and connect the points again
Now, we will continue selecting another part of the model. The process is the same, we will select the face and apply a detach. We isolate the two pieces and combine the vertices so that the shapes match. We improve the shape in this part of the curve by applying a chamfer and adjusting the edge. Now we apply a chamfer to this vertices and adjust them so that they are aligning on the Y axis. Finally, we improve the shape by adjusting the mesh as a whole. Let's repeat the same process on the next piece. Hey guys, if you are enjoying the video, please subscribe to the channel, currently almost 18% for of public is not subscribed, so if you want more content like this and want to develop your skill more and more, subscribe to the channel, it's free and help you a lot, signed up, continues in the video. I'm going to separate this piece. And also separate the upper part of the model with the detach. Now that we have the piece separated, let's close this hard part from the inside of the piece. To do this, we are going to use the bridge and the edge connect. To finish, we will apply a chamfer to the edges while keeping them hard. Since this step is repetitive, let's speed up the process a little. 
Let's do this on the lower piece of the model. For the upper part, I'm going to scale with the shift to create an edge and then apply a chamfer. The same goes for the last piece. I'm going to change the color of some piece to give the model a little contrast. Finally, we are going to apply the open subdivide to the piece, and that's it! The model is finished! I hope you enjoyed the content! See you next time! Bye! Subscribe to the channel, it's very important!